Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay, you guys, we got a Dollar Tree haul, and it's a big one. So get your tea, your coffee, your soda pop, whatever you do. I should have got myself a cup of water, and I didn't. If I have to take a break, I'll just pause and go get some water. Anyway, let's get started. So, I finally found these baskets. I was searching for these baskets everywhere. It's different than the other ones. I hauled, I'll show you what I hauled last time. And I love it. But this is the one I hauled last time. See this one? That's the one I hauled last time. And it's a lot smaller. So, this time I got these ones. And I was searching for these. And I walked in. They must have just put them out. I was so excited. I've seen a lot of people on Facebook in my groups that I'm in that do decorating type of videos or DIY type of videos. And they've done some really cute stuff. I'm just kind of showing you at every angle. I saw some really cute projects done with these baskets. You can do so much stuff. You can just use them as a tote to do like maybe for your yarn projects, craft projects. But I've seen people turn these into like a beach bag, um, throw a bunch of flowers in it, throw books and flowers in it. It's, I, I'm excited. Okay, so I got, how many did I buy of these? I believe I got six of the Robin's Egg Blue because I love it. And I love the colors that they're doing this year. They gave us the pretty pastels and they should stick with that. They should stick with always having a set of pastels. Then this pastel pink. Look how pretty this is. Isn't this gorgeous? And we know what I love on this basket. I love the big old handles. These would also make great Easter baskets, you guys. So if you find these, I would make these my kids' Easter baskets because these are fabulous. Okay, so I got six of those pink ones. So I got six of the Robin's Egg Blue and six of the pink. I mean, look how good that looks together. Oh! my camera so anyway okay so let me put that down let me get all the big well you know I gotta go through this anyway okay I got some other really good surprises in this video okay um you know what's weird is I at first did not grab these when I saw them for some reason I thought that the roses looked really cheap and they don't. They look fabulous. And I know you guys have seen this a million times. Everyone's been showing them. I almost missed out. They only had two more left. I got, you know, so, and these went quick. So I thought I want to do a, um, I'm not going to change them as far as doing anything to them because I love just the way they look, but I'm going to apply these onto a bigger board to make a bigger statement out of it. So it'll be a DIY. Love it. Be great for my spring decor. So beautiful. Okay. Next. Okay, I think I can finally sit down. I've been standing that whole time. Well, let me get all my big objects out of the way while I have my camera set up this high. I have my camera set up really, really high right now. It's because I have a lot of big projects. Okay. I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six of these. I picked up six of these pictures. Oh, and the reason I picked up 12 basically of those bat of those uh those pastel baskets, I have different projects I want to do. I want to use them for storage. I want to use them for um like a knitting bag or project bags. I have so many things I want to do with them. And I knew that if I didn't get what I wanted, you guys they'll just go. So whatever you want with some of this stuff, get what you need because you can go back the next day and it won't be there. Okay, so I picked up six of these. And I'm going to end up painting them. Um, I saw a really cool DIY <coughs> that she did with pictures. So I'm going to turn these into like white pictures and make them look like they're, um, like they're stainless steel. <coughs> so there'll be like some black markings coming out. They'll look like they're steel. Stainless steel. Painted white. But not plastic. So, and they're just pictures. They're water pictures. Aren't they cool? I love the shape of them too. So that's the shape of them. Everything I got is so big. So, let me show you this way. Okay. 
So, this is a DIY. And I needed six of them because it's a DIY. So I'm excited about that. Okay. Next. Let me throw this in here. I just want to keep, I just want to do all my big, I've, I have a lot of big stuff. So I'm trying to get to all the larger things. Oh, here's another large. Put that in here. I picked up three, I picked up, how many, one, two, how many did I pick up this? Five or six of these. Um, I'm using these um, as like little uh, baskets in my, uh, in my decor for spring and also for Easter. I'm making them like little Easter baskets. I guess little spring baskets. You know, I'll have eggs put in here, maybe little houses. I'm in the middle of doing them right now. So they're already in their place of where they're gonna go in my house. But these are the um, cocoa liners. This one's a little strange because see how rounded it is? The other ones were like, were flatter, but this one like doesn't want to settle, but I can fix it, I'm sure. So I picked up six of those. I've been picking up kind of a lot of each thing because I'm doing, you know, DIYs and stuff, so. And if you're doing DIYs, you gotta get what you need because like you guys, like I've been saying, it won't be there when you go back next time. Okay. This is what I've been trying to get to. Okay, I don't know if this is going to fit under the camera or not. All right. Look at this. Look how huge. These are, okay, these are planters. Now, they have planters at Dollar Tree all the time. But these were so big, they can't even put them on the shelf. They have to put them, they had to put them by the door. So if you want some big planters, especially to do some vegetable gardening, which is what I'm going to do, um, in pots, these are big, nice big ones. You guys look at this. I can't even fit it under the camera. That's how big this thing is. Okay. Are you guys getting the gist of how big it is? So see the bottom of it? That's how big this is. Thing is like huge. Um, in fact, let me go ahead and measure across and then that'll that'll get get across how big these are um that's 12 okay it's like 15 inches across okay this way and you know this way 15 inches across and and um as the length of it is like nine inches so they're so big they cannot fit on the shelves so they had them um so they had them, like I said, by the front door. And so I got six of this color, this terracotta color, and I got six of this color. And they're really pretty. Like, um, let's see if I can show you the design. See the design right here? It's really pretty. So, and I got, so I got six and six. So I have plenty of pots which I kind of had before anyway, for my um, container garden, vegetable garden, what I wanted to do the, for the spring. Okay, now I can finally bring my camera down, now that I did all the big items. That was a lot of big items, huh, guys? Sorry. Okay, I can bring this quite a bit down now. Okay. Then, this is nothing, this is just uh, something mundane, but... Um, this is just a candle lighter. You guys, I would get my candle lighters from, um, yeah, let me see about this. I would get my candle lighters from, um, Dollar Tree. Such a better price than anywhere I know, and it, they last just as long as the ones at Walmart or anywhere else. So, anyway. Okay, I picked up three more of these beautiful pens, which I do not need <laughs> whatsoever. I have tons of them but I can't resist it. So, and the ones that are the best <coughs> are the ones that twist. You guys, these write so smoothly. Oh, 
I mean, it's just such a smooth writing pen. Usually the fancy pens aren't really that great as far as writing. I just use them and collect them. But now I can collect them and use them. So there's always one in my purse in my wallet. And I just love them. Look how gorgeous that is. And I love this magenta and then the pink diamond. Okay. I'm just going to put those right now in my little pencil containers right now. Okay. Um, just to, uh, to, uh, this is just a makeup brush cleaner, little mitt. I haven't used one of these before to clean my makeup brushes, but I'm excited to do so. So I'll be using that. Everyone says they're great. So, well, some people say they're great and some people don't like them at all. Okay. You guys, I picked up, I think eight of these and let me tell you why. These are the large, uh, vacuum storage bags. I don't even use the vacuum with it. I just press the air out. These are great. I use them to uh, store all of my yarn because I have an obscene amount of yarn um, that doesn't fit on my yarn wall anymore. So I put it in here, plus it's protected. It's great for um, summer clothes, winter clothes, um, blankets, all that kind of stuff. And I don't even worry about the vacuum sealing part. I just, um, I don't worry about the vacuum sealing part. I just simply, um, you know what, I need to... I got to Sorry you guys, I got to adjust my camera a little bit now that I brought it back down. Let me see if that works. Yeah, that's better. Now I'm now you guys can see the stuff better. Um <coughs> So these are great for that and they're really thick. You only get one, but they're really nice and thick. They're not thin and cheap at all. And they haven't had these for like 6 weeks. So that's why I picked up, I think I picked up 10 so that I have them. Because I usually try to always keep like five or six on hand. Um, my husband loves them too, the store stuff. And they haven't had them. So I think I did pick up 10. I needed to get my stock back up on those. Okay, what else we got? Okay. Ooh, got to be careful with these little pots. So I picked up some things. I'm about to, um, I'm in the middle of decorating for Easter. Um, I'm not, I'm not decorating as intensely like how I do Christmas. I'm just, I'm doing little areas in my house. And so it's turning out really cute. And I'll do a little video of my Easter and spring decor. Um, these are fabulous. I picked up, um, I think up these two, I think I picked up two others also earlier in the season, but you get three for a dollar. You guys, that's fabulous. And they're really nice and small. I love how small they are. There's another size above this, but these are so cute to pop into um, spring and Easter decor. So I got that. For, I got them for that. But you have to be careful. It's hard to find them that aren't broken. They are very fragile. Then um, I picked up two of these just to add to my um, collection of fairy garden stuff. Um, I didn't like the colors of the other ones. So I didn't pick up more than that, but these are cute. So I picked up these two and that's, I, I'm going to add like fairy garden stuff to my Easter decor. So that I'm working on now Then I picked up how many of these one, two, three, four, five. I picked up five of these. And the reason I picked up five of these, look how cute they are. Oh, that one's broken. Look. Oh, well. Um, I picked up, what did I say? One, two, three, four, five of these. They are like a little teapot. Look how cute that is. Aren't these adorable? Oh my goodness. Look at that. So cute. So I picked up five because I don't even know why they made them in pink. And thank goodness they did because this does not match any of the, uh, fairy, uh, the fairy village stuff at all. Nothing's pink except for this, but it does match... Remember they they sold uh, at the in January, the fairy garden stuff and it's all it's all pink. It'll match that set. So I'm going to um, put that with this with the different sets and set these out at Christmas time because I do a pink shabby chic Christmas. So that's why I picked up all these. Also, I'll probably throw one in my craft room on my shelf. So I just took one out for that. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's leave that out. Ooh, 
here. I have to be careful with those. I don't want them to break. Just a second, you guys. I don't want these to break, so I'm just going to give them a little extra bit of a protection. Okay. I bought, I bought a ton of these. I love the way they look and the way they are, but I don't do a pink, um, I don't use pink in my, in my decor for, um, Easter or for spring. I'm doing more of a, um, farmhouse slash, and more really more of a French country style. So, um, the pink isn't going to match, but I got this because I love the truck. One, two, three, four, five. I got five of them because I love the truck. And I haven't been able to find just the truck, um, blank wooden truck that they have in the crafter section. But that's fine. So I can alter these um, whenever I want. I can make them steampunk. I can um, do them a shabby chic pink. I can leave some. And for Christmas, maybe do presents in here. And leave the truck just like this because I think it's fabulous. So anyway, I have a lot of my DIY ideas with these. So that's why I picked up so many of them. And we've all seen them. And they're just absolutely gorgeous. We love them. I picked up probably, I think I picked up 10 of these. I do a lot, a lot of Finnebar art. And Finnebar art, you need to take clay and you can put it in molds. I also use the um, resin in the molds too, but sometimes uh, the clay is the best option when you want to wrap it around something when you're doing this finnebar art. And um, if you want to know what finnebar finnebar art is, just look that up. F i n n a b a i r, and you'll see what finnebar art is. But anyway, it's to put into molds. I got this clay here, and this clay works great in molds. Um, you take it right out and then you just let them dry and they work out great. It's, um, it's an air dry clay. Before you put it into your mold though, work it a little bit. Cause I've noticed it does need to be worked a little bit. Okay. Next. Um, I just needed this. This is a little tray to put some little bit of paint in. I like to make my own uh, sanitizers, and um, these were hard to find at the beginning of last year when the pandemic started. Oh my god, everybody was making their own sanitizer. So anyway, I just like to keep stocked on these, so I just saw them, and I picked up a couple more. Um, this little bunny here, I did not get this bunny um, to color it at all. I got this because this is a great pattern to make. I just made some fabric bunnies. Um, and this is another shape to make fabric bunnies and use it as a pattern. Look how cute that is. So cut, so make your pattern, um, and put, and then cut them out on fabric and then stuff them. And they're just really cute <coughs> to be able to put into tiered trays, into your decor for Easter. So that's why I got them. I'm not sure if I have time to make these because I made some other bunnies already. Some other little stuffed bunnies. So we'll see. So. I may even may make them after even after um, Easter because, like I said, I'm going to keep up my um, spring my Easter decor just as part of, and make it just all spring decor. And bunnies are definitely for spring, so okay. Okay, guys, let me grab a few more things. Okay, I picked up, I think, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. Seven, no, I picked up, I think I picked up ten altogether. Okay. And I've had this in my stash for actually quite a while. Um, what they are is they're the um, planter trolleys. Which is a great deal because I'm sure these planter trolleys did not cost a dollar like at Walmart. 
Um, they're a nice size. They have four wheels on them, which all does not matter because what I want to do is I want to make tiered trays out of these. So if you look at it, this is perfect. You know when you see those stainless steel, um, stainless steel uh, three tiered trays, like at um, at Hobby Lobby or any of the places, they always have the sides on them, right? So I thought, oh, this is perfect. So you can paint this white and then dry brush a little black to make it look like it's like a stainless steel chippy painty. So I'll do that to these and then make a three tier tray out of them. So that's why I picked up so many. I want to make a lot of three tier trays. Also, it can just be a roll around um, planter trolley to move the plants around because it has wheels on it. Okay, so that's why I got those. <coughs> Also, I could do some uh, black and white McKenzie checks on these, and I might do that to some of them, and then make a three-tier tray. We will see. All right. All righty. I got some books here. I think they're all just repeats. Let's see. I don't want to take them all out. I think I got three of each. And the reason I got three of each is because I'm going to give them away for gifts and for gifts and in giveaways. Yeah, all three of these. Okay. I got like I think three of each one. This is the coconut oil miracle. This is a fabulous book, you guys. If, the most important thing about coconut oil is is that your body knows how to use the coconut oil. You can use it as a butter. You can use it um, to cook with. It doesn't recognize vegetable oil, canola oil. It recognizes real oils. And when you use real oils, um, your body uses it. It doesn't store it as fat. Um, and there's a million other things that this is good for. It's good for weight loss. It's good for can um, preventing cancer, diabetes, uh, heart because when you do, when you use the um, artificial oils, that's what clogs up your arteries, and that's when you have a heart attack. So keep your arteries clear, keep your heart healthy with real oil. So that's what the only thing I use is coconut oil and real butter. Those are the only two I use. Okay, um, the healing powers of vinegar. There's so many great things with the healing powers of vinegar. Um, if you do apple cider vinegar, that is great for weight loss. Also, it's great for um, keeping, putting the good bacteria in your gut and when you put the good bacteria in your gut you have you have more good bacteria than you have bad bacteria and that prevents you from getting diseases or viruses okay then the power the healing powers of olive oil i don't know i, I do i use uh, that's another oil i use sorry olive oil i don't know a ton about olive oil i use it on my skin i make herbal serums for myself i do eat it so i need to read more about olive oil benefits so but anyway, these books are great. Look for them at Dollar Tree. Um, I picked up a couple of each because I wanted to be able to give them as giveaways. Okay, let me put those down. Then I just, I they, they had sold out of all of this and then they came, they all of a sudden restocked. And I had already bought like a lot, but then I'm like, oh gosh. Pick out your favorite ones because they're restocked. <laughs> I needed more of these like I need a hole in the head. So I picked up three. And these are the crosses. Look how fabulous those are. And I do a lot of Finnebar art. And these are perfect for Finnebar art. Oh, I just love them. So I got three, three of those. I picked up one more of the, um, the watch faces or the clocks. Again, I just can't wait to use this in my Finnebar art. Fabulous. And then I got some stickers. I think I never picked up these, so I picked them up finally. I don't know why I didn't. But these are the, um, aren't those fabulous? All the violins. Oh, so vintage. I love it. Um, I picked up all of these ones before, but I wanted to get them again. Um, I got two more. This is one of my favorite ones. It's not gorgeous. With the sewing machine, the telephone, the cameras, the light bulb, and what's that other thing? Radio? I don't know what it is, but it's just all vintage and it's all fabulous. And then, um, I don't think I got this either before last time, and I'm glad I picked up one. All the trumpets. Look at all the vintage-y looking trumpets. 
Oh, fabulous. So, to add to my collection of a bunch of these that I pretty much already have. Okay. Down to my last two bags. Okay, I already had, I probably picked up a total of four of these. And I think I showed it in another, um, in another haul. But it's these, the wooden eggs. These are fabulous. I'm going to Mackenzie Child style check these. And it's going to be a video today or tomorrow. I'm going to decoupage on some of them. Um, so I'm really excited. I'm also going to do some uh, Fender Bar art on some of them. So I'm glad I picked up a lot of those. I picked up the same amount before you, somewhere between four and six of these um, bunnies. I think this bunny shape is fabulous. Isn't that just fabulous, that bunny shape? I love it. I'm going to definitely do McKinsey checks on these. Isn't that going to be so cute to do all black and white McKinsey checks? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <coughs> okay, I have bought in so many of these, I really have no business buying anymore. But um, I think... I'm like, how many did I, you just, you buy them at the beginning of the season and you go, did I get those or how many did I buy? So anyway, I picked up another carrot. Aren't these cute and more of the uh, rabbits? I'm also going to do the black and white McKinsey checks on these, um, on the bunny and the carrot. And I got one more shape. I think it was an egg. Yeah, they're little eggs. So these are great to throw in the tier, three tier trays. You can also cover them with napkins, which will look fabulous. You could just do a dry brush, a white dry brush. Um, with white paint and just dry, dry brush them so they look like they're distressed. So yeah, I'm doing a lot of fun things with these. <coughs> so look out. There's a ton of DIYs coming. I absolutely love these. Um, I'm trying to think how this comes. Did these come? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, did this come too? Okay, so I picked these zipper uh, file folders up. I absolutely love these. I'm trying to think if these come two to a pack or is it just one? Okay, I think it's just one for a dollar. I felt like there was you get more than just one. Anyway, I can't remember. But anyway, these are fabulous. I love these for all of my um, little bits for my craft room. These are fabulous. So I got the pink one, this purple one. And this is a little bit different one. It just has the zipper going on top like this, and it's bigger. See? So, whenever I see these, I try to pick them up. They don't have these all the time. So, let me make sure you guys saw that. So, there's this one. There's this one. And this one has a little pocket on the front, which I thought was cute. And then this one's a lot bigger. And I think I got... Yeah, I did get some other ones that you get three in a pack. They're not as durable and sturdy as this, but they're, they're nice. I like them. Okay, here's two more, just a different color of these that I'm gonna make the three tier trays out of. Um, I picked up <laughs> some more yarn that I don't need. I've already picked up all this yarn before, but um, I picked it up because I just, they were stragglers, so I thought, you know what, let me just add it to the yarn stash that I already have of a bunch of these I picked up. So I love this taupey color. Um, I did a little review on this and I said, told you that this is a great deal. It's 82 yards. It's a number five bulky. Um, and when you go to, um, like Hobby Lobby, I think it's a hundred yards, which are only 20, not even 20, 18 yards short. And you'll spend like, you know, if without a coupon, you'll spend like four fifty. So a dollar for the thick is really, really a good deal. So I just saw these stragglers. I already have all these colors. I'm just going to add it to the ones that I already bought. And I think the white's gorgeous. I think this is so jean friendly. Gorgeous. And I love this taupey brown color. And it's very, very soft, you guys. Very soft. 100% acrylic. And then um, more of these fabulous vintage looking stickers that I have no business buying anymore of. But they restock, so I had to buy them. <laughs> Fabulous. Aren't those just so cool? Love. 
you know, this is the first time I got these. I hadn't seen these ones. It has like the unicorn and the dream catchers and the word dream. Those are fabulous. And then, is this the same one? Oh, this is the same one as the other one. Again, just in case I didn't show it long enough. I love it because it has that clock on there. It has just so much keys. Just so vintage. I had to buy more. I have a ton of them already, but I couldn't help myself. And just another one that has the um, unicorn, the dream catcher. Another one of these. Isn't that fabulous? They're so beautiful. I'm glad I picked up two because I don't have this my first time finding these. If they would have had more, I probably would have picked up more. My first time seeing those. I'd seen them in hauls, so. Okay, you guys, I think that's everything. Yeah, that is it. That is it, you guys. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. What And let me know, what was your favorite thing in the haul and what are you looking for? Um... And remember, my friends, do something nice for someone today. And remember, we have more in common than we do not. All right. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.